Well guys, it's Kieran or Killer Kids of HD here and welcome back to Killer Kids of Stag Dude. This is the episode before the transfer window. We're gonna have a fun episode today. Hey, we are 14th in the league against 24th in the league, Brighton Hove Albion. Now, uh, here's an issue. Right, I'm, I'm not good to know what. Screw the intro today, look at this. So when we last left off, we we lost to Cardiff, right? <laughs> We had a drop in form. We, do you know that dip I was talking about? Jesus Christ, we dipped in like a Dorito in sour. Dip, what am I saying? I don't know. Anyway, so we drew 0 0 Southampton. A great result. Great result. We did not deserve it. Great result. Then one at home against Bristol City, who played much better than us. Like, what the hell? We're at home. And then I'm thinking. Oh my god, yes, we're at the Amex. We can beat Brighton and Hove Albion. They're 24th in the league away from home. Come on, lads, we can do this. We lose 2 0. Johnny Russell for the Derby man. And Tomo Hammond. I know Kappa's going to be happy about that one. Look at the stats. We were very, very even, yet we were not clinical enough. And it's frustrating because they played fantastically. And it's one of those games where I feel like we should have won, but we did not win. That was annoying. But thankfully, we got a bloody win. 3 1 away from home against Plymouth Argyle. And a big, big win. Massive. Humongous. Two goals and Terry Ambrose in the 16th and minute to make it 2-0 in quick, very quick succession. Then Alex Jakubiak, I think he's probably pronounced his name, scored to make it 2-1. And that's what well, thing got tense. So a little bit iffy. Billy McKay scored. Thank God. But oh Jesus, Jose Garcia got injured. Oh Jesus. Let me show you this. Yep, so let's zoom in on that, please. Let's just yeah, look at that. He's out for six weeks. He's the guy with the most assists. You know, he's the guy with the joint most player match awards in this flipping league, and he's out for six weeks. He's one of our key assets to this team, and he's out. He's gone for a few, like a month, over a month, and that's frustrating. We've also are still without Kyle Dempsey, who is injured. Five to seven weeks with a torn hammy, and Adam Jackson is out for six to 11 days with a strained stomach muscle. Frustrating times here at Mansfield Town. Here is the league table. We sit in 14th. On 23 games played, 7 wins, 9 draws, 7 losses, 23 goals for us, 29 against us with a 9 of 6 goal difference on 30 points. We're only 4 points above relegation, we're only 4 points away from the playoffs. This is how tight the league is at the moment. One win could propel us as far as 8th, one loss and other results could go in other teams favours, we could drop down low to, you know, maybe 17th, maybe 18th. You don't let it know in this league, man. So we're going to go straight into this game because it's going to be a quick roundup game because I want to do this thing next episode. I want to do a big episode where I want to go through the whole of January, non-stop recording and like, you know, cut bits where it makes it important. Right, here's the thing with the January transfer window. Got a bit of debt. We're, um, got a bit of debt, boys. Because I signed that Martin Whitehead guy. He's now um put the club in debt, so hopefully he's worth it. But if he when he does come in, there will be um a saying we will be saying bye bye to Aloni. So Mansfield Town 14th, Brighton Hove Albion 24th. Can we get revenge at home and beat these Brighton Hove Albion lot after we lost two 0 the Amex in a very disappointing result? Let's go have a look at the teams. So here is the Brighton Hove Albion team today. They have got Swardzik on the bench with Lafferty, Butterfield, Tom Hamed, Solly, White, and Maguire Drew. We know Tom Hamed. He scored against us in the previous game. And that's starting eleven. Ben Hamer is in goal with Spence. <laughs> Oh, Veljovkovic, I think that is, Honmeyer and Angulo, and then in the DM one they've got Davis, and then in the midfield they have Dale Stevens and a boy, a, a lad that I know personally from a personal save of mine, Atif Chachui, I know I pronounced that wrong, I know I have, I signed him in a Crystal Palace save I did a while back from Shivsabor, and he was decent, he was very good, and he's actually doing quite well for Brighton this season, considering they are not actually doing quite well in the league. Then the front three they have today, they have Johnny Russell on the right, a man who also scored against us. Up front they have Torre, and on the left they have Manu, and our starting 11 and bench today. It's a mixed up kind of side today, as we kind of like try and deal with the fitness issues we have. So Miss Jones on the bench with Donovan Daniels, Issa Samba, Matthew Willock, oh, I've been wanting to say this for a long time. I really, really want to be saying this for a long time. Alberto De Francesco! Oh, it feels good to have him back in the side. He's not been playing much lately, and it's great to have him in the team there on the bench. We also have Ivan Calero and Billy McKay on the bench also. And the starting 11. Oh, it's a mixy bunch. It's a very mix-up bunch. It's like a Harry Bow packet. You never know what you're going to go and get. Mark Howard is in goal with Maximin Kurikins, Joel Lynch, Lewin Niatanga and Vashon Nifil. Maximin Kurikins, this is your time to shine, my friend. 
this is your time to shine. Also, Joel Lynch and Leon Lewin near Tongue are getting a rare start today. As obviously Donovan Daniels is actually a boss in the defense. We have Luke Maxwell as the ball winning midfielder. We have Chris Morris as our centre midfielder, and then the front four: Billy Waters, Federico Rico, Chris Forrester getting, I believe, his first start of the calendar year and actually the season. And then Thierry Ambrose starts up front. I'm actually going to look at this. Chris Forrester, is it your first start to the season? Is his first game of the season? He's played a game for Southend United this season. And because of our fitness issues and our injury issues to Kyle Dempsey and Jose Garcia, Chris Forrester has got to start in the championship for Mansfield Town against Brighton Hove Albion at home. These are the two teams. It's going to be a very tough game. Let's get into it. This game is underway. Brighton Hove Albion have kicked off this game in their red kit. As always, we are in our yellow and blue. The lovely Stags kit. And hopefully today, the game starts off well and we can get an early goal. Nofield has a throw in here. It's at 19th minutes. Chris Forrester gets the ball back to Vashon Nofield. Outside the area to Chris Morris. Terry Ambrose, free ball there. So Lukey Maxwell has to shoot. Has to shoot. Now, Maximum Kurikins puts the ball in. He has to shoot that. I don't know why Luke Maxwell has not shot that. Let's put the table up a bit there. I don't know why Luke Maxwell has not shot there. If he has shot, what is he doing? But I really feel like he should have shot there, and that's really disappointing. That could have been a big chance for him to get a goal. Dale Stevens now to Atif, otherwise known as Chachui, to Torre. Vashon Nofield will clear. Back to Atif, Chachui, Johnny Russell. We've got a tight mark closing down as well. But he's going to pop one, and Mark Howard parries it, and Maximum Kurikins will clear. Big chance for both sides there. Luke Maxwell should have scored. It's a big save from Mark Howard on a Johnny Russell shot. Billy Waters here. Billy Waters. To Chris Forrester on the outside of the area. To Chris Morris. Come on, get the ball in the area. To Billy Waters. Billy, back out to Maximin Kurikins. The Latvian puts it to Luke Maxwell. To Chris Forrester. Lovely passing maneuvers here. To Billy Waters. To Thierry Ambrose. And there you go. What a bloody highlight that was. We've had three big chances there. But Thierry Ambrose has scored to make it Mansfield Town 1. Brighton Hove Albion nil. What an interesting highlight as the rain pours down on the field nil pitch. Billy Waters plays a lovely ball. I think he nutmegs him there. And Thierry Ambrose puts it past the keeper to make it Mansfield Town 1. Brighton Hove Albion nil. Interesting little extended highlight there, actually, to be honest with you. Because, you know, we've got Luke Maxwell having a sh well, bottling a shot. And then you've got Jolly Russell taking a shot. McHoward making a big save. Then Maximin Kurikin's clearing it. Interesting little highlight there. Dale Stevens tries to get the ball to Ibrahim Tayori, I think that is there. For Monaco, man. Mark Howard is now on the ball. Can we get the ball forward and grab a second? as he puts the ball to Federico Ricci, the Welshman, Chris Morris on the ball to Chris Forrester to Federico Ricci to Thierry Ambrose, can he turn and shoot, can he turn and shoot, gets it back to Chris Morris, plays it down to Chris Forrester, down the right hand side he has options but Chris Morris gets the ball back here to get a play it back, Maximin Kurikins is looking like the centre of attention here on this right hand side which is great to see because he's getting involved, Mary Waters gets the ball to Luke Maxwell after a second chance, Chris Morris, the Welshman, so Luke Maxwell has a chance and skies it, we are looking really good so far in this first half and that is the first half over and done with. I'm actually going to make a change straight away as Lewin Tenga is struggling so I will be bringing on Donovan Daniels, the man who shores up that back four very quickly. He is so strong and so good at what he does. It's actually amazing. What a signing he was. The first half wasn't the worst we've seen according to Richie Barker but they're still into improvement. I'll tell you what, no I don't agree. I really don't agree. I think we've had a great game so far. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's been a solid game. Billy Waters having a fantastic game. Thierry Ambrose has a goal, which is great. Maximum Kurikin's getting involved a little bit. The Latvian, who's on loan from Dynamo Bucharest, which is fantastic to see. Let's get the second half underway. The team talk's gone really well. They look, look extremely delighted. Let's just hope they do not get complacent. 20 appearances a season with Donovan Daniels. Can we get a second goal in the second half to try and actually get away from this goal? Um, get away from this goal. Get away from this team now. We need to kind of push up in the table. I really hope we can get as far as maybe... Well, we've just pushed up in the table there. Someone's dropped some points. And someone has just dropped more points there. Man We'll turn up in 10th position. See what I mean? Table going everywhere. We're going to make our second change of the game on 65 minutes. Um, Federico Ricci is struggling. So we're going to bring on our man, Ivan Calero. Obviously, he's just been released by Derby County in real life, which I'm, you know, it's a bit sad to see. You know, I've got a kind of affiliation with the boy now. That was Spanish winger. It's great to have him in the Mansfield Town team, though. Let's see if we can make an impact here. We are looking fantastic in the second half. It's Chris Morris, Luke Maxwell on the ball now. Can we get a pass to Billy Waters? He's having a fantastic. Yeah, Thierry Ambrose, what a save, Ben Hamer. And Thierry Ambrose shoots again. And it's cleared out for a corner. We are looking so good. It's weird. We're looking so good, which is actually amazing, considering how bad we've been lately. I'm loving it. Five minutes to go. Come on, lads. Hold this now. Oh, we've got a chance here, maybe. Oh, I've barely got a chance. Manu. Tim Hamad, who's just come on off the bench. Is it? No way. Don't do this to me, game. Hamad. Hamad. To Dale Stevens. Don't you bloody dare. Dale Stevens puts it on the right-hand side. I think that's Jordan Spence. Wolf on West Ham. No way. Oh! <gasps> 
Maximum Kurikins has cleared. I thought I was going to go in. That's so stupid. I hate how that happens. I do not like those crosses that go in like that. We have 30 seconds to go. Maximum Kurikins now giving away a free kick. Now they've got a free kick in the dangerous areas. Chachui. Yeah, that was a bloody... Whoa! Did you hear that? Ambrose. What was that? What was that, Thierry Ambrose, mate? Rafferty, and there it is. Mansfield Town 1, Brighton Hove Albion 0. That is a big, big three points considering we lost to them a lot too long ago, like two games ago. So that's fantastic. You played very, very well today. Why can't you perform like that in every match? The Luminar Tongue is like a bit confused. I don't blame him in a way. I don't know why I said that. But the rest of the squad's really reacted to that. And I don't understand why we can't perform like that every game because that was top draw. We are now 10th in the league. That's how close this league is at the moment. Look, Clement Fargo are 21st in the league, right? 29 points. We are 10th on 33. This league is as tight as it gets at the moment. It's ridiculous. Obviously, it seems like other results have gone in our favour, which is fantastic to see. We are now in 10th, obviously. Lovely old job. That's, you know, after the last episode, Joya Sonogo, by the way, bloody hell, 20 goals in 20, what, 24 games for the championship? My word, he is bossing this league. Jesus Christ. And look, oh, hello. The transfer window has begun. Well, it's we got like three days and we're already getting offers. Mark Bowler, do we sell him? He's not getting the game time here. I'm, I might, do you know what? How much are they offering? 50, 35K and he's valued at 34. Accepted. Mark Bowler, probably going to leave the club. Well, that's where I'm going to end it. So the next episode, as I said, is going to be a bit of a special episode. Because what we're going to do is go through the whole of the January transfer window, progress like an absolute boss, and then I'm going to meet you at the end of the transfer window on the 31st. No live comp. No live comp. I'm going to do it like I'm going to go off the cuff. I'm just going to show you the end of the games. And then obviously, then we'll do the end of the transfer window, deadline day, put on some funky music and whatever. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you did, don't tell me why in the comments down below. I will see you all very soon for another episode of Kidigan Stagdown Foot Manager 2016.